Hey, God bless you, church. Fantastic to see you here tonight. Let's stand up and uh, really get ready to push into the presence of God tonight. And uh, give us a wave if you're ready for a move of the Holy Ghost. And uh, Ooh. It's exciting, isn't it? Praise the Lord. All right, let's pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your incredible presence here with us tonight. We love you. We just love you so much. And we honour you and we welcome you. And we don't take your presence for it at a, uh, at, in... Uh, Do you guys want to pray this? We don't take your presence for grant or granted. <laughs> and Holy Spirit, we love you and we know that you're God on earth right now and we honour you and we give you liberty in this place and liberty in our lives. We just say, Holy Spirit, whatever you want, whatever you want to do, whichever way you want to lead, we're just ready. We're just ready to follow you and to surrender to you and to allow you to come and touch and change our lives. And we love your Holy Spirit. We give you liberty. And Jesus, our Saviour, our Lord, we lift you up tonight. And we love you, Lord Jesus. And we love everything that you've done for us. And we give you praise and honour. In your mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Let's do it. Can we get a clap on the house tonight? Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. Glory, honor, and praise, Lord. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise, Lord. You shy Tonight, lift some praise to the Lord, amen. You say, I'm a Give you praise when you rescued me. You died on the cross, gave your life to set me free. And I can't contain all this praise that lives in me. We say, from death to life, I share in your victory.
rising up. All our praise rising up to you. All our praise rising up. All our praise rising up to you. All our praise rising up. All our praise rising up to you. All our praise rising up. All our praise rising up to you. All our praise rising up. All our praise rising up to you. 
on now. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. We rend the heavens. We rend the heavens. We rend the heavens. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Ah. Strength. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> he is good. Oh. That's good. Just surrender, just surrender. You know, sometimes it's our head that gets in the road. And, um, you know, we just need to surrender our mind, our will, our emotions to you, Holy Spirit. And uh, we surrender our body to you, Holy Spirit. And we just surrender our future. And Holy Spirit, we just give you liberty in this place. And we just so love you. We so honour you. We, we want to see church done your way, Holy Ghost, not our way. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hey, you may be seated. Kids, yeah, give the Lord a hand. It's awesome, isn't it? Hey, just a couple of things. And the band, stay, please, because we'll probably just sing something before Seth ministers. Um, hey, just a couple of things. Uh, it's, it's really, I uh, want to welcome Dave Wallace from Revive Church, just over the fence. And uh, we just honour you, Dave, and thank you for coming and being here and being a part of bringing this guy in as well, and uh, we just bless you and your family and your church over there. Hey, um, and I'll introduce uh, Seth in a, in a moment, but, oh, so is that uh, Denise back there? Or, I haven't got my glasses on, Denise, so it could be anybody. <laughs> but bless you, girl, so great to have you, and uh, from Empower, and um, actually I didn't realise my eyes are getting a bit poor. Hey, there's a couple of things we want to do just before Seth shares this. First of all, um, really this came about, I believe it was a divine appointment, and um, Seth and I, we've only really just met on Monday and Tuesday face-to-face, well, first time on Sunday night at Dave's church, but um, we'd made contact in a Skype uh, a few months ago and said, if you're ever in town, let's have a coffee. And, um, but when I heard, I said to him, I said, hey, why don't you just stay over and do a meeting for us as well? And you know, change your flights and everything. And often for people, it's just too hard, too difficult to do all those changes. And he said, yeah, sure. And so here we are. Isn't that exciting? And um, I want the ushers to come and that. I want us to take up an offering for Seth tonight. And yeah, I said to Seth, hey, we'll, we'll share expenses with Dave and that next door as well. And we want to bless this ministry. So the ushers are here. That'll be good. So Father, we just honour you. And uh, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity of having our brother Seth and Dave with us and Denise and others that are here tonight. But Holy Spirit, most of all, we thank you for you. We thank you that you're here with us and we love you. And we want to bless uh, Seth's ministry and be a part of it, Lord. We want to sow in and we pray that you just release your blessing over this offering in your mighty name tonight. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. I'll need to get my phone to do my banking transfer when we get down. I was going to say to Nancy, just grab my phone and give, but I, that frightens the hell out of me. <laughs> my wife has no restraint. She has a... She's... <laughs> Seth would be pleased if I did give my... <laughs> hey, um, and I just, just one other thing. Uh, is Franny and Sarah, are you here with your little boy? Give us a wave. Did you make it tonight? Yep, hey... Let's just come up real now. We'll just pray quickly. And I just found out we got a message. Um, Asia um, started having some uh, seizures. Uh, we understand just sort of happened. 
and uh, it sounds like um, he's going to go in and have some scans and other things that are taking place pretty quickly. And um, of course, we just believe that God is a healing God. And so I thought, well, let's let's get Asia in and just pray for this family. And it's always it's it's sometimes it's you know the kids have battles, but sometimes it's harder on the families, mum and dad. You know what it's like when you're carrying these battles. And do you want to come and pray with us? Yeah. And so, Holy Spirit, we just thank you for young Asia. We thank you for this mighty little man of God. We pray, Holy Spirit, right now for your healing power to just flow down through every part of his being. We speak to his mind. We speak to the brain. We speak to every part. We ask, Lord, that you would bring it all into your there divine order. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask, Lord, that you would just bring it into divine order. We pray, Lord, for your healing your healing, your healing in the mighty name. Ushers, where are you? In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. There, we just release that. Father, we just thank you for Franny and we thank you for... <sighs> now, Seth's getting me drunk. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you that there is no limits with you. Yeah. And we thank you that you wrote the manual. And so right now, there. Yeah. Lord, I just release their faith to another level. Yeah. That our faith is just releasing their faith to another level. Yeah. Ha! Fire! <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> so we've just, um, um, over the last couple of days, been able to spend a bit of time uh, with Seth, and it's just been really, really amazing how drunk everybody gets when they get round him. But um, <laughs> we might need to pray for Sarah now that she can straighten up. We've, we've just had a great time of fellowship over the last couple of days. And, uh, you know, we really don't know each other, but we just, God connected us in the spirit. And there's a unity in the Holy Spirit that you just can't find anywhere else. There's an agreement. There's just a power of connection that comes when... Holy Ghost people meet Holy Ghost people. It's just something happens in God. And uh, he's got a great church up there in um, Lower Hardy. He's travelled all. I can sort of shout his praises, but um, I don't want to take too long. And travelled all around the world, all around Europe, ministering in the Holy Spirit. And God's just really using him and his family in a really, really wonderful way. And um, so let's just sing, just you guys just sing a couple of times that he is worthy of it all. And just, I want you just to sing it through. And I want you in the con. just close your eyes for a minute. You might want to lift up your hands. You can stay seated. And, and as, as, we, as he sings, these guys sing, as we sing, we know we're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ, but also Holy Spirit. And we really just ask Holy Spirit to come in a, in a you know, just however he wants to come tonight and make it our prayer. So you guys just start singing. Come on, love. Pick it up. You're worthy of it all. Come on now. You're worthy of it all. Now, come on, just invite the Holy Ghost, you guys. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. Say, get me, Holy Ghost. You deserve the glory. You're worthy. Come on. Holy You're Spirit. Worthy. You're worthy of it all. Oh, get me, Holy Spirit. You're worthy of it all. We're ready for revival. For from you are all things. Just one more time, we're going to sing that. Now, you might, not, you might want to join in. You deserve the glory. If it's in your heart, just, just anoint the Lord. You're worthy of it all. Come on now. Oh, for from you are all things, 
break those alabaster jars. Break those alabaster jars. Oh, we need to sing it one more time, one more time. And break those alabaster jars and anoint the Lord. Come on. Oh, This is it. All right, let's put our hands together and welcome Brother Seth. <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's good morning somewhere in the world. <laughs> it's uh, just an absolute privilege to be here tonight. And I just want to say thank you for investing into the atmosphere of Christchurch. I'll just talk to church this side. Thank you for investing into the atmosphere of Christchurch. You see, we don't just come to church to see what we can get. If we only come to church for what we can get, then we, Jesus calls us thieves and robbers. We come to get what he can get, which is the honour due to his name, to establish stuff. Because the Bible says the righteous shall decree a thing and it shall be established. And we decree the presence of God in this city. We decree the presence of God over Christchurch. We decree that the glory of God is going to cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. We... Shukuriyanda. I just want you to know that I'm working on my enthusiasm. So, <laughs> and for those of you who want to stay sober tonight, I'll drink your drink. It's like, because <laughs> I have no intention of staying sober. <laughs> I mean, that's boring. You and I were not called to be boring. You know, we wonder why the church has not had the impact. It's because there's too many boring Christians around. It's like, ha. I mean, you see some people going to church and honestly, they look happier going to the dentist than they do going to church. It's like, just, I'm just going to speak for a few minutes. I have my own clock, of course. But I do make one promise that I will finish by 2.30. Well, Paul preached till 3 o'clock and someone died. So if I finish at 2.30, you can all relax and it's all good. So just, uh, and for those of you who want to put your seatbelts on, stop being an idiot, take it off. It's, you know, we live in a culture that's become so risk averse that we've forgotten what it is to actually enjoy the Lord. We've forgotten what it is to enjoy His presence. I... Went to Sunday school. Actually, I was saying to someone just before, you know, I was. I went. My mum took me to church, whether I wanted to go or not, when I was young. And then I was born. It was like I was baptized in the Holy Spirit when I was seven. I've spoken in tongues every day since. Someone asked me, so why didn't you backslide? Because I never found anything that could compete with fellowship with the Holy Spirit. I mean, goodness me. So, no, 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 that way. Sometimes you just got to just get rid of it. It was fun, wasn't it? Yep. Let everything be done decently and in order. See, we, we, we forget that we are supposed to enjoy God. We're supposed to enjoy God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Excuse me, but there's a lady down here laughing at me. I, 
Whoops. <laughs> you need some more, sister. <laughs> <laughs> They said, sing a little louder. <laughs> Laugh a little louder. <laughs> the young people have got to hear happy old people. Come on. <laughs> Say, you're so rude. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's the privilege of being old. You just... Anyway. If you want to switch on your Bibles, <laughs> Isaiah chapter 12, I just want to share a simple little verse, and I don't know what's going to happen. Actually, just before we do that, where's the, was that Kelly? Who, who, was, who was doing this? The, uh, Corey, that's it. Where is he? Come here. You probably don't need your jacket on. There's going to be some fire. But there is a dimension of prophecy that God's about to release on that machine. And you're going to stop holding back. And you're going to start to prophesy. You're going to prophesy to the wind. You're going to prophesy to the north. You're going to prophesy to the south. Fire! Oh. Pick him up. Pick him up. Actually, pick him up. <laughs> Is this good? <laughs> no, don't land on the ladies, it's unplied. <laughs> <laughs> I understand sign language. When someone goes, that means yes, please. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 12. Now we've got to understand that Isaiah is the prophet of the kingdom. He's the prophet of the kingdom. He's talking about the kingdom. He's prophesying about the kingdom. And here it says in verse 2, Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. Don't tell me you're born again and you're walking in fear. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. And we've got to be the people of great faith, not great fear. We've got to be the people of great expectation. If we aren't, the world's in real trouble. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw. Whoa! This is not a good pulpit. <laughs> with, <clears throat> with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. When we read an Old Testament passage, we must always read it with New Testament revelation. There's too many people read the Old Testament, sorry, the New Testament with Old Testament revelation. But you and I, are, whoa, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about me. Whoever said church was boring. <laughs> We've got to re 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 read this with. <laughs> so when it says the Lord, if you've got to realise who it's talking about, who it's prophesying. Because Paul, the master of the Old Testament. Oh. Come on, fellas. 
the master of the Old Testament said, now the Lord is the Spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is good, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Hold your lick out. <laughs> The Holy Spirit, whoa. to play rugby league when you can go to church. <laughs> you want me to sit on your knee? <laughs> if you, you're more than welcome. <laughs> oh, I feel the love now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed are the drunk, they shall be happy. <laughs> people, 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 people wonder what, why, why would God do this? Because he's God, Dumbo. It's like, Lesson number one, don't look at me. <laughs> anyway, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has become my strength and my song. You know, we, 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 we so often hear people talking about the Holy Spirit as my comforter, as if he's the dummy. It's like, he's not your pacifier. He's not your pacifier. If you look in an old dictionary, the word comfort literally means the one who puts strength into you. And, and so the Holy Spirit is the one who puts strength in you. Oh my goodness, I love challenges. I'll just talk to church this side. I love challenges. Why? Because a challenge is just the episode that gives me a victory. And the Holy Spirit is the one who is with me and gives me a victory. And we've got to know what it is to face a challenge. And, oh, yeah, hello, John. <laughs> Can you do me a favour? Can you do me a favour? I was going to get you to go and... Come on, boys. This is getting heavy. The Holy Spirit, when Jesus looked at the multitude, it says, and he had compassion. That does not mean he felt sorry for them. It means a fire arose in his belly that said, I'm going to do something about this. And you and I need to have compassion on our cities. 
so that a fire of the Holy Ghost is going to rise up inside us and we're going to say, I'm going to do something about this. Oh, And in a few minutes, we're going to lay hands on you because that's just what we do. And for those, oh, the, 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 whoa, those of you that are getting a bit hot, don't worry, it'll get hotter. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who are thinking I'm crazy, I am. It's, <laughs> I'm actually very normal. And so you and I, we have this privilege to get the anointing, the strength of the Holy Spirit in our life. And then it goes on to say, with joy. <laughs> you know, I've met some people and they say to me, oh yeah, I'm full of joy. Do you mind letting your face know it? It's like, it's like, it's like it's just, oh, I don't need my glasses. There. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> if I was on the Marae, me <laughs> <laughs> Up, 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 come on. No, not, not kick me up. <laughs> So, Jesus, he, 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 he was preparing his disciples to... Would someone just anoint that lady for more? Just, just, there it is, more, more. Now in the next row back, more. I mean, this is not a spectator sport. This is a participator sport. Oh, sure. You know, really, the, 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 the truth is every church needs a drinking culture. <laughs> I've never been drunk on alcohol in my life, but I love the Holy Ghost. I love the Holy Spirit. Oh, shaka, Paul, la, la, Miranda. And what's more, there's no hangover the next day. It's like, oh, it's free. Jesus paid for it. <laughs> when I worked in the factory, I, I went in and I, I, was, I was the only Christian amongst over 400 people. And so I had to sing the song, This Little Light of Mine. I'm, no, I didn't. I was like, I'm going to turn my wattage up. It's like, I mean, whoa. And so we'd be going in on a Saturday morning and the other trades guys, I was the apprentice, they, they were all the, the clever boys. And, uh, but they'd been over the road having a red band sandwich. And they'd come into church. I mean, into, not into church. <laughs> into, into the workshop on a Saturday morning. You know, it'd be half past six on a Saturday morning. And I'd be, good morning, everyone. And they'd go, oh, shut up, Seth. I wasn't going to let their sin and overindulgence stop my joy. I said, I'll make you a coffee, but I'm not going to shut up for you. Huh. And they said, you're just, uh, you know, around here. There was a few beat words that went on. <laughs> but the reality is, we've got to let our voice be heard in the city. We've got to let our joy be heard in the city. We've got to let our standards of good living be heard in the city. Why? Because as, as, as a Holy Ghost, Spirit-filled, tongue-talking, demon-annoying Christian, I'm normal. Very normal. Now, the reality is you and I are people on a mission. We're people on a mission. We, 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 we've got a mission to do in life. 
You and I have been given a, an amazing assignment to comfort the distressed and to distress the comfortable. It's like... Jesus was given an anointing. It was the oil of joy that caused him to be elevated above his fellows. We shouldn't walk around looking like Coomeras trying to be turned into wedges. It's like... We've, we've got the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. It's not talking about his biceps. Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> You've been going to the gym lately? Oh, the last 10 minutes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cheaper this way. <laughs> now, 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 Jesus was anointed and when he said, come follow me, he said, come be the same as me. You know, so often the world... And religion portrays Jesus as the man of sorrows. He described himself as the man of joy. Where did his sorrows come from? From us. He took our sorrows and gave us his joy. Now, I know there's some people say, I'm not into that joy stuff. I know that. It shows. <laughs> But the reality is, you get some Christians, you've probably met them, well-meaning people maybe, but they say, what about the excesses? And I agree, what about the excesses? The excesses of grumpiness, the excesses of envy, the excesses of jealousy, the excesses of the works of the flesh. I mean, come on now, let's talk about some excesses. You can never talk about the Holy Spirit too much. You can never drink of the Holy Spirit too much. You can never get filled with the Holy Spirit too much. If you're not overflowing, you're not yet filled. <sighs> oh, this glory is getting heavy. Come on, fellas. Thank you. <laughs> so, just, 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 just. <clears throat> Just <laughs> we 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 we. Um, <laughs> uh, cause, cause the Lord said there's a new anointing of joy He wants to release on the church. A new anointing of joy. We we might have known what it was yesterday or the day before. I mean, some people have said, "Oh, I was filled with the Spirit 24 years ago." Yes, yeah, looks like you leaked out 23 years ago. <laughs> so, so, just the reality is that we are to drink and keep on drinking. We are to be filled and keep on overflowing. We were not given a sip; we were given a drink. Yep. I, I, uh, a few years ago, I, I, I was with my wife in England, and we were in South. South England, and, and we were going to go to church on a Sunday morning. We were on, on, on holiday, and, and so we looked for a, a Pentecostal church, couldn't find one, but Canterbury Cathedral is up the road, and so we said, oh, let's go to the Archbishop's house. It's like, so as we were there, and the, there was a news, because oh, one of the popes had died and, or something, and, and so the, the news broadcast was there, have you, have you come to honour the Pope? No, I've come to worship Jesus. Amen. And... They, 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 they didn't put that on the news broadcast. And, and, and ah! so anyway, we got in there and I knew some of those hymns. I mean, I'd grown up singing hymns before I was born. And, and so the, the reality was we were there and because everyone's like, Oh, praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King. I mean, not enough power to pull the skin off a rice pudding, but it's, it's just the... But I, I love singing. I, I've, I've got actually a Pavarotti voice. It has a rough passage out, but that's okay. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm, I'm singing, and the next minute, all these beautiful middle-class English people around me, they all started singing. We drowned out the choir. It was awesome. And as we did the next song, I can't remember what they were, three, three hymns we did, and, and, and this very beautiful English gentleman, collar and tie and everything else, he, 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 he turns to me and says, that was rather nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so anyway, we were there and so the, the preach, and I'm glad it wasn't too long because even I would have had Morse code with my eyes. <laughs> and so anyway, the, the, they then said, you know, if you want to receive communion, you know, come up. And I thought, oh, I've never had communion in the Archbishop's house. So it's like, great. So I got up and I said to my wife, are you coming? She said, no, I don't trust you. And so, <laughs> wise lady. So we get up there and, oh, I got up there and we all had to stand in a line and the priest comes along with this tray of little wafer things and says to me, you know, put out your tongue. Talking to a Kiwi, come on. <laughs> Talk to do the hucker at school in Lower Hutt. <laughs> so I put out my tongue and he went, oh! <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then had the wafer and dropped it on my tongue, whoa, tongue. And, and said, this is Jesus. The only problem was Jesus disappeared. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not mocking him. It's just like... <laughs> but the next priest came along with this beautiful big goblet. And you could smell the wine. And, and then stood in front of me and said, Drink, drink ye all of it. I said, thank you. <laughs> it was really warm on the stomach. It was like... And the priest's eyes went so big. Because <laughs> the priest was expecting me to have a sip. <laughs> it was like, and that's what religion does. It teaches us how to sip, not drink. But praise God, we're in a house where drinking is the culture. We've got a river to drink. We've got a river to drink. We've been given a river to drink. Ha! Ah! And so, ah, ma kapo, shurandaya, hamahanda. Whoa! And then someone says to me, how much of the Holy Spirit can I have? Dumb. <laughs> it's not that, it's how much of us can he have? Because so easy it is for us to have limits, but my simple prayer is, Lord, increase my capacity. Increase my capacity. What, what? Why don't you just stand across the room right now? Oh, just get off your blessed assurance for a moment. <laughs> and just hold your hands out and say, Lord, increase my capacity for you. Increase my capacity. I want to drink more. I want to drink more. Go ahead. If you can pray in the Spirit, go ahead. Just pray in the Spirit. Shakana mananda. If you can't, we'll start. Robo shundolola furanda la mana nanaya. If you don't know what to say, say glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. But let's just do some drinking right now. Ha kariana malandaina burunda lolola furanda. Ma saya porunda lolola. Ma saya paranda laida biana morondo. Ah bushunda lola furanda. You see that lady with the Kurianda Maya Surandaila Mananda Kaiba Shunda Boranda Namashaya Venzaima Mana Nana Miranda Laila Baranda Hana Mananda in Zaima Monola Vandana Fire right there Good catching guys. <laughs> There she is. One, two, three, four, five rows back. The lady with the, whatever you call it, yeah, the, that, that, that lady there. That's the one. <sighs> Fire! Oh, shukul andala. Whoa. Shema my mama mandalaya. Whoa. Fire! <laughs> Oh, Kashi Purondo. You don't have to wait for God to point you out to me. Just, just connect in with Him and say, Here I am, Lord. I want to be an incendiary device. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, by the way, Nancy, fire. <laughs> oh, ha. <laughs> Such polite laughter you've got. Can I give you a hand? <laughs> Psh. Psh. 
Holy Spirit, you may be seated for just a moment, but just keep drinking, keep drinking, keep drinking. I mean, you can never drink too much. I mean, let's face it, my name is Seth Fawcett. We're just, we're just turning the tap on. It's like, ah. Yes, ma'am. Are you having a good night? Oh, 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 oh. Hiya! Ah. Whoa. Holy Spirit. And now... Wherever, just right across the room. Anyone who wants a touch from heaven, just put your hand up. Just let the anointing that's in this place right now just get on your hands. And now just bring it down and lay it on your head. No, 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 stay in the chair. We haven't got room on the front. Whoops, you need to look after here. People might say, why do you do that? Because it's fun. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) (laughs) You're nearly like me, sir. You've got a really long face. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, here's another one. (laughs) <laughs> this is good, isn't it? Amen. Yep. Whoa. I wonder what heaven sounds like. Whoa. <laughs> It might sort of hurt my hand if I put my hand on him. <laughs> Do you know this man? Oh, then you can look after him. <laughs> this is really good for the biceps, and it's really good for the abs. Yeah. <laughs> Someone better help her with the baby. Oh, the baby's laughing at me. I see that hand. And 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 and, and well, Kuranda, you know, this is this is not being silly, folks. This is how anointed can we be? The reality is, how anointed can we be? I don't know. But we get so used to having our own limits, so used to... But there is something that God is wanting to draw us into to take us past just the aspect of being touched, to be past the aspect of enjoying something, to getting such a fire on our belly that we go, Ah, oh, come on! Sure, Ha! I was doing a funeral in Lower Hutt of this lady and, uh, and, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And, 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 and uh, her family were not Christians, but uh, she'd known me when I was a, a little kid, last millennium. And so they said, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the funeral for, you, for the family, but I will preach the gospel. And they said, yeah, that's fine. The only thing was that the two daughters were all into the occult and, and all sorts of other stuff. So I'm doing the funeral, and at the end there was these ladies with eyes bigger than saucers, and the first one says, you know, there was a man standing next to you. It looked like he was your friend. I said, yes, he was. His name is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, making manifestations in people is just so good. You know, 
and, and then the next one said, oh, I never saw that. But around your head is, is, was an aura. I mean, yeah, it's called the glory of God. And I went, oh. But the one said, no, no. And her eyes were bigger than the, 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 than the, bigger than the saucepan. And, and, and she was like, inside you, there's a fire and it's scary. And I was like, yeah, come on. <laughs> How big's your fire? How big's your fire? Is your fire? Uh, you know, one of my things I love doing, and as we've had interns, they, they'll come with me, and the next minute they'll turn to me in the mall and go, you're at it again, because you know what I love doing? I love walking around the mall and smiling at people. <laughs> and then they start manifesting. <laughs> people say, why do you do that? Because I'm telling the devil, he does not control my city. He does not have authority in my city. I'm letting the devil know who's the dominant spiritual power in my city. Yeah, huh. While we walk around, I mean, I think it's disgusting that people talk about Christians being as quiet as a church mouse. I mean, it's like, how disgusting is that? <laughs> when the righteous are as bold as the lion. Come on. Ah! So it's really funny when you see them, they go, Whoa. and then the next minute you see these ladies disappearing into, like, Hallensteins. <laughs> and men disappearing into the makeup parts. <laughs> like, you know, like a lot, a lot of malls, when you go into the mall, you, you, you've got to go into farmers to get, you know, so you go through and then you get these lovely ladies. Can I help you, sir? Have you seen my face? I don't think so. It's like... <laughs> But the, the simple fact is, you are carrying God himself. Amen. You are carrying God himself, the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He is my salvation. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. I'll just say it again. We are not afraid. Why? Because the Lord, the Lord is us. I lost my legs. Stop stealing my legs. I really feel the love here tonight. <laughs> you got the microphone? Okay. Oh, you just <laughs> preach, then away you go. <laughs> you can preach the sermon you've been wanting to for the last 25 years. <laughs> You're good? <laughs> I'm Seth. Hello. Was that good? <laughs> Would you like some more? Because <laughs> God's, God's taking you to a whole different place right now. <laughs> Here it is. And there's just some stuff just being shifted right now. That's so good. So good. Never the same. Never the same. By the way, expect some financial breakthroughs coming. Oh. 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 Can we just head this way? Because, oh, oh, that's not working so good either. The, the young man with the yellow across there, whatever it is, yeah, just, just, just come here, sir. <sighs> what, what, I don't... Oh, oh, oh trasher. Oh. <laughs> How's your liquor, man? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Just kick that leg. Just kick it. Just kick it. Kick it. No, no, you. 
Yeah. We need more fire. Fire! <laughs> She's going to be a holy roller any minute. Whatever you do, don't look at me. <laughs> it's dangerous. Can, can I just shake your hand? You don't trust me, do you? <laughs> I just want to say that it's like I've just saw a picture of you sitting at a computer. Now, I know that's pretty obvious that what you would do. But all the question marks that are floating across the screen, God says, don't look at the question marks. Look to me. Don't look at the question marks. Look to me. Because the question marks are only feeding doubt. And God says, look to me. I am the author and the perfecter of your faith. <laughs> hey Oh, that is so good. <laughs> I better have some of that myself. <laughs> are you having a good night? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I messed up the lady's hair. It means it's just no good for the mascara, are they? <laughs> Would you look, I've got another handkerchief here. Because <laughs> I always go to church with two handkerchiefs, one for the nose and one for the eyes. I, I never confuse the handkerchiefs either. <laughs> the Lord, the Lord is my strength. And what was Jesus' last prayer as he was going to the cross? Oh, Father, I hope this works. I can only do it once. <laughs> that was not what he prayed. He said, Father, I want them to have my joy. Yeah. Calling himself a man of joy. I want them to have my joy. And that their joy would be full. And when you look in Greek, that word full is the same word as how a smell will fill a whole house. I, I, I have one wife and five daughters. Oh, I'm not a Muslim. It's not the other way around. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just... And then when the girls all got to be te whoa, teenage and they're all starting to sort of try out all these smells. Dad, what do you think about this? Pig on the nose. The whole house was filled <laughs> with perfume. How, how many know what I'm talking about? That's, oh, some of you don't? <laughs> Is the joy of the Lord filling your workplace? Is the joy of the Lord filling your family? Is the joy of the Lord filling when you go shopping? Is the joy of the Lord shifting the atmosphere? I, 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 I had an open heart surgery a couple of years ago. And, and when you've got the name Fawcett, a little bit of plumbing is just fine. And, and so, but when we finished, when, and I was getting kicked out of hospital, they were, they were all coming to say goodbye to me. All the staff was coming to thank me. We were trying to thank them, my wife and I. And they said, no, Seth. Oh, psh. They said, you brought joy to the hospital. You changed the atmosphere of the hospital. You have the anointing of God and you can shift any atmosphere. You can bring joy where there is anxiety. You can bring joy where there is distress. You can bring joy. My room became worse than a railway station. People walking in and out the whole time. Why? Just because they wanted to drink of my drink. Hama kushuri under. And so, there is an anointing of joy that's available for every one of us. Because Jesus never said, come to me and think. I know in some churches that's what they invite you to do, not in my church. Because thinking is an operation of the soul. Believing is an operation of the spirit. And then he said, come to me and drink. So really, I've come tonight to ask how your drinking is going. <laughs> ah, and if it's going well, then you, you don't need me. I'll have some of yours too. It's like, ah, ah. I 
I like you. <laughs> you, you. You're a really good example of drinking tonight. <laughs> you, you know what the next thing could be? You know, I was in Porirua just a little while ago and there was this guy, he'd just been saved out of the gangs. And so the pastor said, can you, can, do you mind if I use him to, you know, sort of try and hold you up? I said, that's fine. He says, you know, he's only just, you know, that's fine. The next minute the fire of God touched him and all you, I was holding the microphone and all you could hear was beep, 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 beep. What the beep, beep, beep is this? <laughs> it was so cool. And then he takes off and runs right around the room <laughs> and comes back and stands there like the beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> And two minutes later, beep, 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 <laughs> off he goes again. And then he goes and sits down the back and I said, what's your problem? I'm not coming beep, beep, beep near you. <laughs> His language hadn't quite been redeemed yet, but... <laughs> Isn't it good to go to church? Yeah. Oh, oh, we'll just try church down the other side. Isn't it good to go to church? Yeah. I am glad I'm a Christian. We'll try churches. <laughs> I am glad I'm a Christian. Yeah. I thought I was in Canterbury. <laughs> I, I see a little bit of rugby on there. Cantabrians, when you see them on TV, are absolutely crazy. Uh, they get shouting and hollering and chasing all sorts of things. <laughs> then you go to church. You know, some people do go to church for their gym exercises. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the neck exercises. And then there's the side stretches. What I love is the arm exercises. What's more important is the breathing exercises. <laughs> you know, in our church in Lower Hutt, just a few years ago, there was this lady, and I, I just suddenly got impressed to call her out, and she came out like into an aisle just here. And I didn't even got to touch her. The power of God just touched her, and she's boom down. And that was fine. I just carry on, you know, just, just trying to preach. And the next minute, she's snoring. And of course, what everyone does is jump up. To, oh, that's, you can't do that in church. I don't know why you can't, but anyway. They jump. I said, leave her alone. Why? Because the Bible talks about you see miracles and you hear miracles. She was, she was a sufferer from insomnia who hadn't been able to sleep properly for years. And in the front of everyone, she's now, you could hear a miracle. You never know what God's going to do when we come. Let's be open for the... Unexplained Wow! Holy Spirit, thank you. Can we stand if you can't? Well, that's fine. But in a few moments, I'm not sure how this is going to work. But I, I, I really just would love to lay hands on everyone. And, and I'm not sure how this is going to I know how it's going to work. You guys just, home because these legs aren't working. But they're going to come down here. I'll come down here because we've got a bit more room down there. And, and, and you're just going to step out of the seats and come round. And you might not feel anything. That doesn't matter. You might go flying. That doesn't matter. Whatever it is, just allow God to touch you. And, and just, just, just bring them past. And, and, and we're just going to have an anointing of joy released. There's going to be a whole new anointing that's on people's lives. So, so just, just bring them out. Just... just
just, just come and fill up the gaps. Just stay there. He'll just stay there. The other people will fill up the gaps, and he'll come back along, all right? Just fill up the gaps, fill up the gaps. The gaps, fill up the gaps, fill up the gaps, so he just turns straight around and come back, that's it. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. I'll oh, just fill the gaps. Yeah, don't move the line, fill the gaps. Back a little bit. That's better. Turn me on. We can create a new line along here. And then just start help, help some of these people up that need a little bit of assistance. Be kind and gentle. And just start that new line. He'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Reform the line, reform the line. Good on you guys. You're getting it now. We not, might be, need a bit of air, Tim. A bit of air con. <laughs> That's it, just fill the gaps. Just come in and fill the gaps, guys, if you want prayer. Fill the gaps.
<laughs> I said. Fill the gaps, guys. Just come with, there's all these gaps. <laughs> don't, don't miss out being prayed for, you know, if you're here and you've come all of this way on a windy, cold night, come out and just receive the Holy Spirit. It's good. Good for you. <laughs> Come on guys, there's some spaces up here if you haven't been prayed for. It looks to me like some have come up for a second dose and a third dose. That's fine if you're hungry. If you're thirsty, come and drink. <laughs> That's it. Fill the gaps. Fill the gaps. It's better if there's no one behind you because it's hard to catch. Awesome, you're getting it now. Fill all the gaps. Leave enough room for the, for the catchers to get down behind there. No, fill the gaps. Don't pull them along. Fill the gaps. Just focus on the Lord, focus on the Lord. Woo! bring her into the middle and we'll get, get her paid for. Hi, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Whose mum are you? And uh, Your mum? That's my mum. Oh, really? That's my sister. That's your sister. Oh, lovely. That's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
Give me a wave if you're drunk out there, everyone. <laughs> awesome. See if we can get a bit of air out. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only half out of it. He's fully out of it. Go down the hey, would you guys go down the other end? I want this little girl paid for first. Go down the end of the line.
get the worship team. Awesome.
Isn't that exciting, the power of the Holy Spirit? And how many of you guys feel really, really encouraged and inspired and ready to get out there and soul, save some souls, get out there and share your faith? And it'd be, it'd be really good if we had to uh, get early for church to get a seat, wouldn't it? If so many people started getting saved and coming into the kingdom of God, because that's what it's all about, getting revived because we have a mission, a mission to do. Start ramping that up now. All right, let's stand together and let's not have any more of, any more of that. We're going to sing hallelujah. Come on now. You turn me down. You turn me down. Come on. Come on now. Let's just push in. You might want to come front of, up front and worship and you need to come and say thank you, Lord. You need to come and celebrate the Lord and thank the Holy Ghost. And you know, we return to the Holy Ghost and we say thank you. We honor the Holy Ghost. We honor the Holy Ghost. We Ghost is doing and what he's done. And we just want to be grateful and let that attitude of praise and thankfulness come. Come on now, come on now, come on now, come on, begin to lift it.
prophesy. Come on. Prophesy. Shia da 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 ya da da ba da ba 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 ba. Come on. Give me some on stage with a guitar. Come on, boy. Hang it up. Fall back. Fall back. for our brother Seth and, uh, and the Holy Spirit and the ministry you place with him. Father, we bless him. We pray for your strength to fill him up and renew and refresh him, Lord. And Father, we just ask for a fresh anointing on our brother, a fresh empowering on our brother. 
And Lord, we bless him and we stand with him in his ministry. And in the days ahead, Lord, we stand with him. Wherever he goes, we go with him as you go with him, Lord, and stand with that authority in the realms of the kingdom. And we thank you, Lord, and we bless you for him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, praise God. Hey, well, let the love of God be shed abroad in your hearts one to another. Give one another a hug and a handshake and a blessing and a headbutt and a, a hip butt and a whatever butt's going on around the place. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Awesome, awesome night.